Uh, greetings, my name is Charles McCall, and I am the director of the Cambodian Leadership Institute, and I am on the board of the Cambodian Church Planting Center. I've been a missionary uh, in Cambodia since 1995. Uh, I've filled various roles as the country director of an international organization, senior pastor of a local church, and on the apostolic team of New Life Fellowship of Churches Cambodia. I've served in various capacities uh, in the United States and in Cambodia, and, and I ministered all over the world actually. And I want to take this moment to introduce to you uh, a seminar that is available for you, pastors and church planters and church leaders. Uh, that seminar is in cooperation with uh, Dynamic Church Planting International. And I'm a master trainer with uh, DCPI. And uh, this is one of their courses that I'm going to be teaching and that uh, I'm going to be sharing from my experience. And uh, the DCPI calls it New Church Dynamics. Uh, I've changed the name for my purposes and I call it Leading Your Church to the Next Level. And this is a seminar, 12-hour seminar, that will share with you keys on breaking barriers in your church to get 100, 200, or 400 people in your Sunday attendance, your Sunday church meeting. Now all of us as pastors, we serve God because we want to see thousands of people come to the Lord. And we want to see thousands of people uh, become mature disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ and, and enter into the, the plan and purposes that God has for them. And we believe also that the local church is God's method to do that. Now we're pastors because we believe in the local church. We're church planters because we believe in the local church. We believe that, that the local church is, is God's vehicle for uh, this age to establish his kingdom on earth and to bring in the harvest and to uh, help uh, new believers become disciples and leaders in his church. That's what we believe and that's what we've given our life to. I want to say from my experience and from my study as well is that it's relatively easy to plant a church. It's not too difficult to gather 20, 30, 40 people together uh, in a house or a storefront or a meeting room. Uh, but the difficulty comes in leading that church to grow. And so we can gather people, but when it comes to the next step, that takes skill. It takes learning some new skills, and it takes creating a new strategy, and it takes some understanding. Most churches in the world are 50, 60, 70, or 80 people. The vast majority of churches in the world are under 100 people in Sunday morning attendance. My experience, most pastors don't know what to do next. Uh, they, they've got a certain ability, a certain gifting and grace upon them, and they've been able to draw people together, uh, and they've been able to, to establish a local church, but to lead it to the next level, many of them that I talk to, they just don't know what to do next. And so it's important for us to understand, understand that there are obstacles that are hindering us from breaking the 100 barrier, the 200 barrier, and the 400 barrier. These are natural church growth barriers. 100 barrier is the most difficult barrier to be able to break. After that is the 200 barrier. After that is the 400 barrier. After that is the 800. And then you kind of just go grow exponentially. But for most of us, we're at the 100 level, or definitely the vast majority, under 200 people in our Sunday morning attendance. In order to break these barriers, senior pastors must change their thinking and they must change their strategy. They must learn new skills and shift from one way of doing the work of the ministry to a new way of doing the work of the ministry. And so in this seminar, Leading Your Church to the Next Level, we're going to share with you keys and help you to develop skills and understanding to break those barriers. I want to ask you, Pastor, how many people do you want in your church? How many people do you want to know Jesus and become mature disciples as a result of you, your church, and your ministry? 50 people? 100 people? 250 people, 500, 1,000. This is something that you and I really need to think about. How many people do we envision being touched by our ministry and gathering together in our church meeting? Everything starts with a vision. So if we don't have a vision here, we need to go back to our prayer closet and seek God on that. 
But if you're satisfied with 50 people in your church, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, uh, told Moses to uh, create a structure in Moses' huge church where he had some people were leaders over groups of 10, some were leaders over groups of 50, some groups of hundreds, and some thousands. It's according to God's plan. And so God has a different plan for each one of us. And some of us, we receive a calling, responsibility from God to care for 10 people, for 50 people, uh, for uh, uh, 100 people, or 1,000 people. So there's nothing wrong with being satisfied with 50 people in your church. But if you're a pastor who wants more, you believe that God wants more from you, this seminar is for you. These are the takeaways that you're going to get from this seminar. One, you're going to learn 12 principles that will become your compass and who will guide you to evaluate the health of your church and will guide you to make decisions on what to do next. 12 key principles that we're going to share with you. You're also going to obtain new skills to lead your church to a new level. The skills that, that we lack at one level, we're going to teach you how to gain those skills and develop those skills over a course of time to lead your church to the next level. You're also going to learn the difference between a small church and a large church because it's a very, very different way of thinking, different strategies, and different ways of doing things between a large church and a small church. And so you're gonna learn what those differences are so that you can apply them to your situation. You're going to learn six systems that is necessary for you to prepare and establish in your local church. This is probably going to be the most difficult part of it because you're gonna to have to do something new and it's going to take some management skills from you. And you don't have to do this all at once, but you can do it over a course of, of, of a year or a year and a half or even longer if necessary. But step by step, you're going to learn how to implement six different essential systems to keep the harvest and to lead new believers, to reach new believers and to help them to become mature to our disciples and help them become leaders and helpers in your church. These are six systems that you're going to learn. You're also going to have a, receive a lesson on, on how to overcome discouragement. Because being a pastor is a difficult calling. We work with people and often we, we lack human resources, financial resources, material resources. And believe me, I've been there. It can be very discouraging. So we're going to share with you a lesson on overcoming discouragement. We're going to lay hands on you and pray for you. We're going to believe for a new impartation of hope, strategy, and the life of God to move you to the next level. You're also going to learn how to change pastoral roles. Sometimes the church planter is the one that gets the church going. But it takes a person of a different gifting and a different calling to lead the church to the next level. That was my personal experience. Is I worked with a man who was a church planter. He led the church to one level. He turned it over to me. I led it to about 400 or 450. And then I realized it takes a person with a different kind of gifting, different kind of anointing, different kind of personality to lead this church to the next level. And so I selected someone, trained them. I turned it over to them. And now that church has 2,500 uh, members as we speak. And so these are some of the keys that you're going to learn. I want to encourage you to, to consider uh, attending the seminar when it's held near you. Or if you want it in your church or in your city, you can contact me and we'll put together a team. And it's very likely we can come to you most wherever you're at and we can help you lead your church to the next level. Thank you. For the seminar in Phnom Penh, we're going to be holding it at the Anglican Church, which is house number 57, street number 294. It's going to be held on February 7th, 8th, and 9th. On the 7th, we're going to begin, we're going to go from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. evening. Hey, on uh, Friday, on the uh, 8th, we're going to be going from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're going to take an hour break, and then we're going to have an evening session, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And from Saturday morning, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the afternoon, 12 hours hours. And so prepare yourself to receive something new from the Lord so that you can rise to a new level.